Welcome to the video by DJ's PRC. We're back with Project Cherokee, but before continuing here, I would like to say this video is brought to you by Great Hobbies, www.greathobbies.com. Go check out their website. It's awesome. We're going to attach the physical transmission that a couple of videos past we finished building and added the shafts to it. Just attach it to the chassis plate, bottom plate, a couple of names for it. We will need these two pieces here. Again, if you look at your book, it will tell you which pieces. Or if you're trying to rebuild your CX-10 that you got used or something, you don't have the manual with you, Go visit Axial.com uh, under the physical vehicle itself. You'll be able to download the manual. You'll locate on the bottom of the transmission two holes that accept screws. They're pretty close to each other, meaning this guy goes like here. Bada boom, bada bing. And if you look in your manual here, this goes here. This guy here physically inserts itself here. And we have the screws here. Before installing these guys here, uh, what I'm going to do is install these two. Just going to make sure to follow the manual the way they go. And taking the transmission this away. Meaning this is going to screw in right here. These two brackets here basically holds your transmission to the physical chassis itself. On, for, not on, should I say? For this, if you want to, you could use your drill. But do be careful not to strip your plastic. Now, by looking at it, I think I might have mixed up myself. Okay. Just looking at the side, they look pretty much too much on an angle. Find out in a second here just by looking at it. Yeah. I think I'm really putting these guys upside down. <clears throat> if you look here physically on the book, that's how they tell you to put it. But if I put it here, it looks pretty much too much at an angle. It should become straight like the motor mount itself. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Now I got it. This guy here. I um, was doing that wrong. I just remembered your ch where it goes on the chassis itself. It's in the curve of the chassis. Disregard what I told you a little bit earlier then. There we go. Grab our other screw here. Move our dry shaft out of the way. It would be fun to have multiple hands sometimes. Okay. 
Again, you don't want to tight, tighten these screws too much because you want to be able to move them if they don't insert themselves correctly in the chassis itself. Because the two other screws you're able after the fact they're installing the rail to move them move them or even tighten them a little bit more there you go again you don't want to over tighten these guys so they will strip the plastic I think I might have a dud screw. No, there we go. Now, while I'm tightening this down here, if you guys have any questions or comment, post down below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And if you want to be notified next time I upload a video, hit that bell notification in the corner here somewhere. And don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching.